Good morning everyone, it's Tanya of Cute and Cuddly Nursery. I have the second of my green children and this one has been adopted. Um, he is actually going pretty far. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I just want to do a quick box packing so I can get him on his way because it's going to take a little while. Hopefully not too long. Here are my business cards that I was sent. So I'm gonna send, I'm just gonna show what he's going with, of course. This is the um, little like birth certificate and like COA that I send. And it's got all my info and of course all of his info. So I'm just gonna stick that in an envelope. Maybe if it'll go in, there we go. And I decided to use little, oh, I thought I saw hair on there, um, some, these are turtles. I don't think I have any, like, I would have grabbed frog, but I don't have frog. I'm just going to put that, oh, that's not supposed to be on there. He had a little, like, pond piece stuck to him, but anyway, there. And these are little bubble type. I know a lot of people say I like the puffy stickers because I do put, I put stickers on the, um, and like if you ordered eyes, I put little stickers on the little boxes that I send and, um, so yeah, I've gotten people saying like, I love the stickers you put on. So just, I like to make things kind of fun and cute and, um, whatnot. That's, you know, the whole like cute and cuddly nursery name. <laughs> okay. So these are the care instructions that I'm sending with him just like any other reborn if I can open it uh, reborn care instructions what size clothing how to fix him um, and then um, the note um, no you know this this one has a really strong magnet like in it I wish I could show like how um, there's a really strong magnet in the pacifier and a really strong one in the head as well. And this is the invoice that it looks, you know, if you've ever ordered from me on Etsy, that's what the invoices look like. This one is going overseas. I don't think I have ever shipped to this country before and I've shipped um, to a lot. So I'm just going to pop everything um, into the envelope. Sorry if I'm making a lot of noise. You can see the cards and the other birth certificate, whatever else. Um, I just wrote thank you um, on the invoice so I didn't bother sending a card also I don't have any thank you notes right now I gotta get some more on the weekend anyway there is the little um turtle sticker he looks like he's having um, fun all right so I'm just gonna set that there and then I'll show you what he's going home with um so this is his little plush this is the closest thing I had to a another frog so he's got some sort of plasticky in the arms, uh, in it, in his head. He has a rattle. You can hear that in there. Now this, of course, um, ring. I don't know what's on there. Um, this ring is, of course, for attaching to your stroller um, or crib or something. But yeah, so he is he is a. Kelly toy if anyone is wondering so he's a little um, triceratops and I I love triceratops I mean they're one of my favorites of the dinosaurs so. this guy even kind of looks like a dinosaur <laughs> he's got like dinosaur feet um, can you hear that maybe in the video he sounds like a rattle himself I hollowed out as much as I could these 3D printed feet and I did weight them with some glass beads so that's why it sounds like that. 
Um, I do have some other things, but I just want to show him a little bit before I grab everything else. So he does have a little magnetic pacifier. Man, I love this face. My daughter so wanted to keep him, but I said, I'm sorry. I can't let you keep it. I'm, she's, yeah. I don't know that she would really like it. I mean, she enjoys them while they're here kind of thing. So this one has, of course, the um, quarter limbs. So it came with the arms. Um, I made this body. It's a little darker than I wanted it, but I didn't want the bright neon green bodies either. This is just the leg. Now, my husband is a fan of the Yodas, and he said Yoda does not have that long of legs, which I understand. Um, if I made another, I would cut it the leg at the knee here and put the foot here instead. But then you're gonna, then the baby clothes don't fit as well, right? So, yeah. This one's my absolute favorite. I don't know what it is. It's something like with this um, outfit, I think. But I just, I love this outfit. I'm just gonna stick the pacifier there. So, just super adorable. Look at that face. On, a face only a mother can love, as they say. But I, like, I have enjoyed like making these guys or have enjoyed making them but the thing is is that they creep me out at night like look at those eyes I get up to go to the bathroom in the night and I come back up because I have a bassinet next to our well it's next to my dresser um, but I have to pass by it to come back from the bathroom to walk on my side of the bed and get in bed and it's oh it's freaky I, I just don't like it I'll be right back I did forget something I forgot an organza bag for the pacifier I thought I had everything ready to go so here's the organza bag now either I mismeasured or the company mismeasured where I ordered these from because they are like really small right now like I couldn't even fit this pacifier in the tiny bags that I got which are adorable I can put earrings in there um, I do sell earrings um, on Etsy for reborns I mean you can use them for yourself they are not um, was it hypoallergenic or, or um, not for sensitive ears that's what I so anyway here's the pacifier and I'm just gonna set that off to the side with the dinosaur I do have his original, oops, like, it looks like Slimer from Ghostbusters body, the way that Slimer was, like, all rounded and stuff. So, anyhow, I'm sending the original body just in case they don't like the feet or, you know, something. Um, I did t remove the tags because I wanted to put the tags on this body, but I decided against that. So, you can unstitch where I stitch the body and then add these back in. So, and then I also have his original coat he came in. Now, um, you would have to dress him from the feet, of course, and I'm pretty sure some of the leg is going to, um, some of the leg will show. I wish they did, like, this isn't, no, it's not Velcroed at all. So, you would have to slip this, like I said, over his body. I'm not really sure if that's a big enough hole for that. But anyway, um, just in case, if I was really gonna, you know, maybe I would go through and unstitch some of this just so you could put some buttons or, or Velcro um, on it so you can take it on and off. Um, unfortunately, I don't have that kind of time um, just to be doing that because these guys were just actually like a side project for me. They weren't meant for me to like be working on all the time, so to speak. So I'm just trying to get this little coat folded up. Um, I have a plastic bag here as well that I'm going to send it in, just like the body. So I'm just trying to fold it so that it looks somewhat nice. And maybe 
pretty fit into this bag. I just grabbed a regular little like Ziploc sandwich bag thinking that the coat's not that big so it'll fit. If you hear the dog, he is under the table that Yoda is on. Or maybe Grogu. That's such a weird name. I don't know who decided. If it was Donna Ru Rupert, uh, or not Donna Rupert, uh, Donna Lee, rather. Sorry about that. Donna Lee is the artist behind this guy, or sculpted. Um, the one for the movie. If you go to her, she actually has a YouTube page where she shows um, her Yoda. Um, and I think she refers to him as Yoda too. Anyhow, so here. I just squeezed some of the air out. I'm sure that by the time it makes it to its destination, the air is going to be out. Um, I'm also sending, this was the little pouch of, um, these are plastic pellets. So these little plastic pellets were in the body, the original body. So I am sending that as well. More sirens today, that's kind of scary. There's hair in my teeth. Ew. Excuse me. I have a strawberry bubbly today. So this is the original box that he came in. So I am, uh, as I said in the listing, I am sending the original box. The hair on there. Isn't he cute there? But I just feel like I, I've watched The Mandalorian and I just feel like they could have done so much more um, with this uh, with this little guy in the in the show. Like they could have added so much more detail. I'm not really sure if they were on a time crunch or what. I'm just putting, gonna put everything um, in here. Not everything, but like the coats or the coat and the body. And I'm just gonna lay them on the bottom in there, like so. I do have a box here. Should have removed. Should have removed the tape on here though, because I don't know. I had taped it all up because um, I had put the bodies, I put, okay, so one of these had, I've got a box here already, so I'm just going to pop it in the box with the tissue, maybe, alright, let me see if I can show the box. I had like all the Yodas. There we go. Oops, it moved around. That's okay. There's the, this is the bottom of the box. And I grabbed like a whole bunch of extra um, bubble wrap so that I can fold over some of the bubble wrap over top of the box to create a layer between the box. I'm just going to fold over the bubble wrap, so I'll show. I'll just pop it. Tuck in. Okay, so I just kind of I just folded it over, and this way it'll protect the box because, like I said, it's this is going overseas. Can I say it's going to Denmark? It's going to Denmark. Okay, so I just folded it across and tucked it in a little at the back there, and so then I've got extra hanging. See a little extra hanging over. So then that I will I'm gonna put some more tissue paper over top I ran out of um, oh, the air pocket thingies air pillows that I, yeah. I ran out of the air pillows I'm just gonna put some tissue paper in here really quick so I ran out of the, the air pillows and um, Usually when I order uh, vitamins, they'll send them uh, the air pillows as packaging, and so that's how I get them. So, um, yeah. But I haven't needed to order any vitamins because I still have a bunch. So there's that. That's okay. 
Um, and then when I order eyes, a lot of the time I get um, packing peanuts. And so I use those for when I ship eyes, and now I'm getting low on packing peanuts too. Um, I've tried to get my husband to get me some packing peanuts, but you can't get them in a small quantity. Like they, sorry, I was getting, yeah, I put tissue paper in the box, so I can't really, I don't really want to pan around because then you're going to see like everything around and it's, this is the, the nice clean area. <laughs> okay, so um, the last one my daughter put socks on, if you saw the um, video, and so I grabbed these little socks, and they're so cute. These are, um, uh, what's it called, um, non-slip or whatever, little grippy, and they're like little paws in white, um, I don't know, it feels like uh, hot glue almost, and then the socks are just white. So, he's wearing a little white outfit, and it says Moo and friends with a little cow on it. And so this, these are white, the socks are white too. So I just grabbed them and I thought, well, he might be cold along the way. We'll just put some socks on as well. So I'm just gonna put some socks on him because I wanted to show um, him and his details a little before adding the socks. Oh, and the, he is where, or this is, I put him on an 18 inch uh, quarter limb body. So, but even though he's on an 18 inch, this is a newborn size outfit, I believe. I'll check in a moment. Let me just get his other um, sock on and then we'll check. Cause I'm pretty sure this is a newborn body. At the time I didn't really have any um, preemie stuff. Um, I just got in a bunch of preemie stuff because I want to do shower boxes um, with preemie stuff. So I'm going to have, I'm just waiting on some really nice crochet rattles that I ordered that are like teething ring rattle thing combo. So I ordered some of those and they're handmade so um, it takes a little while. They, they haven't shipped so they should be here soon. You can see his cute little face while I check for a tag. And it says Mini Club. Um, mini Club, ah, newborn. There we go. That is it. Up to 9.9 .9 pounds, 4.5 kilograms. Keep away from fire. Yes, good idea. Okay, so, not familiar with that brand, but when I see an outfit out there that I absolutely love, I just grab it. I don't really care what brand it is, if it's cute, right? So, this little guy is so cuddly and super cute. I am so surprised that they didn't sell sooner. I should make some more. Um, whenever I see one out, like I haven't really seen any for a little while now, but before when I'd see one out, I was like, man, I'm so tempted to buy like five of those. <laughs> I might make more um, in the future, I'm not really sure, um, so, but isn't, he is just so cute, like I can see why my daughter wants to keep one, um, but yeah, she's, she's got her own reborns and she doesn't want to give them up and I'm like, I can't keep making you these for free. And she's like, well let me have a job then, and I'm like, well, I don't know what to have you do, and she's like, well then there you go. <laughs> okay, so let's cover him up. Um, this blanket, um, has little, like, woodland creatures on it, I would say. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. We have a deer and a bunny. I think that's a squirrel. Looks kind of squirrely. Fox and a bear, and they're all kind of sitting together. The color's kind of, like, washed out looking or whatever. Um, you can see kind of, like, a light blue. I'm not really sure what that is. Um, some sort of design around them in a circular pattern and then there's like light tan stars and I don't know what that looks like some sort of um, oh, branch or something kind of design I guess around it so this side is a bit shorter I see a hair on the blanket oh, it's 
So I gotta shave those animals. Okay. Oh, I hate to send him. He's so cute. But I think the person that adopted him would be devastated if I said, sorry, he's too cute. I have to keep him. <laughs> okay. Which I think there are some people that are like that, you know. Well, the, um, I, which I, I understand. I'm not saying it's, like, terrible or anything. I understand, like, you know, um, they'll put, say, putting feelers out for this or that baby, and then they turn around and they're like, nope, can't sell. And I totally, I get that. I so get that. They're, um, like, Charlotte, um, the newborn Charlotte that I just um, sent off, that was one that I was just, saying to her mommy like if you decide you don't want her please send her you know let me keep her i absolutely loved how she turned out i love that um she's like a preemie size or a large preemie small newborn and i just absolutely loved her and of course her mommy's like the way i love her you know stuff so it's all good i am still looking for my keeper baby as well so Oh, have any of you seen like Noe art dolls? I think I can't remember what her name is, but she has this little alien baby, and I can't remember if it's called Imami or something like that. Um, I think McPherson's has some in vinyl. She made them. In, she's usually like silicone artist, sculptor, and silicone, but. Um, anyhow, she came out with this little alien baby and I kind of want to paint one, but I'm kind of freaked out by it at the same time. But it's, it's, like I said, it's kind of cute. It's kind of creepy. So I've seen a lot of people, um, or a lot of them, um, so far just kind of painted to look like, um, galactic, you know, kind of star starry sky painted um or like blue or pink but i have to say that i would kind of like to paint one as like a human coloring and stuff look how sweet and i have to bundle him up and put him in the box i'm just making sure that the ribbon is okay in the back all right let's show that little face one more time those huge huge ears look at that face though so sweet okay so i'm just gonna lay him down here and then cover the face and ears excuse me uh i like i said i have a bubbly i thought i'm gonna grab a bubbly i seem like i've I had trouble staying hydrated my whole life so um and i had coffee earlier coffee dehydrates me a bit a bit um i feel like um what is it the tea dehydrates me a lot more than coffee does all right i'm not sure how did i i think i put the other one in head down body up I don't really don't really recall and I didn't watch the video before doing this so I don't recall that either oh well that's okay sometimes I do watch a video like how did I wrap that sometimes I watch my own videos when I'm painting because I forget um, like what color was that supposed to be if I like to color a lot, you know, it's like, oh, well, I should have um, done that. Uh, shoot. I have the tablet underneath the table, so I don't want to move the chair. Okay. Let's see. If you cannot see this. Okay. Let's go all the way back. So there... The feet are here, so I've got them on top of the box, and the head is like in the um, original like shelf packaging or whatever is here. So anyhow, let's get him wrapped. 
on this side. Just trying to hold the box up because this is sitting in the bouncy chair. Okay. That looks perfectly good. There we go. All right. You can kind of see it. So, let's see, is there enough? Yeah, okay. I'm just trying to see how I can. This is one of my smaller boxes. You can see some of the, I didn't cut it in a straight line. It's hard to tell. Oh. Downstairs from the cottage. Oh. I have all my, like, boxes and stuff in the basement. Okay. So I'm gonna fold this down and that way it'll create like a bit of a pocket there as well. Okay. Is that gonna, yeah, that's fine. Okay. So hopefully you can Kind of see in there now. Hopefully that doesn't fall off. So now I want the... Do I want the toy first? I'll set him off to the side. I love this guy. I should have got like 12 of them. I only grabbed two. I'm not sure if I still have one. Or if it was already given away. So I want. I think I want the paperwork first. There we go. And see it's like half an inch below. Oh no, you can't see it. Oh well, it's half an inch below there. So this guy, I'm gonna put, since he's got like a big head, put him down by the feet there. Tuck his little arms in. Let me see if I can adjust the camera. Sorry, I know I'm like super moving it around. I tighten that and it still goes down. This tripod, I'm would like a new one eventually. There we go. Now we can see in. But it's still kicking, so to speak, so all is good. Uh, what else? Do oh yeah, the pacifier. We need, we need the pacifier. That is a very... I need to just pull the bag. There it is. That is so cute in there. Um, so I'm just going to stick that next between the baby and the bubble wrap. Just so that, I mean, that mm, might not work. Maybe over here next to the baby. It's got a thicker, there's a thicker layer of bubble wrap here. And I want that magnet, you know. I worry that a magnet's still gonna, or something metal. But this box is big enough, it's not gonna, you know, it will should be fine. Um, when I send, like, honey bug pacifiers, um, I do sell them on Etsy typically. Right now I don't have any. Um, I have a small amount in my personal stash because when I make a baby or finish one, um, I like it to go home with a honey bug pacifier. So yeah, I have a honey bug pacifier that I'm going to, um, or I'm gonna, like this one, like if it's a more expensive baby, then I'll give a honey bug pacifier if I have some. Um, like I said, right now I don't really have any. I checked my uh, personal stash of them yesterday and uh, yeah, I got very little. I just want to put some tissue paper on top here. Just to, it just looks nice. Oh yeah, I put the invoice, the invoice is in there. Usually I put the invoice out here, but I think I'm gonna, um, instead, I'm gonna do the papers like so. And I'm gonna have to put in some sort of buffering or whatever. But anyhow, I did order more Honeybug pacifiers, so if anybody needs Honeybug pacifiers, they um, are on the way, um, which they come from overseas. 
And so they will be here beyond this, this direction. I don't know. Looks good. Um, they will be here, oh, I don't know, like a month or something. Oops, I tucked in too much. Like a month or something, I think. Roughly. Uh, as you know, they are made in South Africa. So yeah, they will be here. Uh, and I need to fill in over here. Obviously, there's like six inches or so. And there's like um, well, two to four inches over here. So I'm just going to maybe put in some paper. So like I said, I'm out of the little um, air pocket thingies. But that's okay. I'll, you know, get some. So, anyhow, I'm going to let you all go and get this guy ready to go to Denmark. That's amazing. So, thank you all so much for watching and I hope you're having a wonderful day.